a gentleman came to West Virginia University to read, and it had just been announced that he was at that at that time appointed to be the poet laureate of the, uh, the United States, which is a great honor. And he read to this packed house there. He's a great word man, a great poet, but he was a real sourpuss, man. I mean, he was he was awful. He was telling everybody nothing matters. It, it was just all black. And I thought, well, that's a terrible thing to be telling these kids in this, at this university. So I came home and I wrote this response to it. It's titled, Here You Are. This morning, I watched the water chase and swirl in the river's necessary descent. The sun is up, and something immediate and important is happening here. Winter's ghost leaving the trees, spring conjuring itself in purple swellings and whispers of green. I toss a rock into the run, aware its landing is crucial in every scheme of things. New shelter for mussels that become food for crawfish that become food for trout, that become... I remember the walk of Cold Run when I stopped to look at a lily, a different and further color than I ever had seen, and backstepped into the stream. I lifted my foot, watched the print fill, knew everything changed. My grandson was born because of that step, and so were you. Light bounces off the water's play, blinds the hawk, saves the pine squirrel running out the limb to investigate the splash. No brook trout now, so I move upstream, catch a nice brown. Because she's stuck, I decide to keep her cleaner for supper. Because of that, I cross to dig ramps and to gather mushrooms. More footprints fill, the sun warms, the buds burst. Each of these things, immediate and important and irrevocable in history, will matter. You may not believe this story about Cold Run and the lily and you being born, but I really did that. I really did. And here you are.